direct, live and direct from the Bronx. Come on up here, Bobby. Thank you. Come on up. Thank you. Have a seat here. You know? I want, you feel comfortable? Yeah, Can yeah, I sit yeah. next I to you? I actually read last night and I'm reading again in Can I sit here or you want me off, the, off camera? No, I want to be on camera. I'm going to be very short. So um, I, only, I only brought a few minutes worth of. Uh, knock yourself out. I'm going to tell them a little bit about me, maybe. Bobby, yeah. you know the camera's on. Um, this is your job. Well, it's funny that he just read a story about Orchard Beach because I hated going there as a kid. Uh, I grew up in the Bronx and it, my mother always went on like the hottest days of the year. <laughs> and she's a sun person and I'm not. So um, I suffered a lot at Orchard Beach, but not, not in the same way you did. Um, I was born and raised in the Bronx. I'm uh, of Puerto Rican and Cuban descendancy. And at the age of 17, I left New York for the West Coast to become a rock star. But it didn't quite happen. Um, that's not really the whole story. But um, after I decided not to play music, I started, I was very, uh, a very gifted lyricist in all the musical projects I was in. So then I started chronicling some of my more crazier personal experiences, which became short stories and books. And um, I have a book coming out in November of short stories and the novella. Uh, the novella I began writing in Baja, Mexico when I lived there in 2004. Um, and it's about a, a transgendered Mexican woman who's mentoring this teenage boy who wants to join a gang. She's trying to talk him out of joining a street gang in uh, Tijuana, Mexicali, Baja, uh, Norte California. So um, the first part that I'm gonna read is um, sort of her impression, her sort of the poetry. She's a poetess, by the way, so um, I, I mean, I'm a fiction writer, so I'm reading one of my character's poems. Um, and uh, the beginning of what I'm gonna read is kind of the poetry she sees unraveling in her head the first time she sees him, and then she realizes later that she's already written her uh, poem for him before she met him. So if you don't understand Spanish, just kind of hang in there, because I follow up with a translation. Uh, and this is forthcoming from my fiction collection, Latino Bisagro and Corazón, from Lethe Press in uh, Philadelphia. I heard choirs and saw miracles. I was blinded by swarms of golden bats flying under the scorching sun and was relieved when I imagined feeling that watery skin in visions of making love in a cemetery between tombs after a day of the dead celebration, our life celebration, the graveyard soil made pungent by perfumed rain mixed with sweat. The flavors of fear and passion mixed and flooded my tongue with rapture, with salt, with metallic stinging. I saw the entire universe projected onto the black screens of my closed eyelids, which I pressed on gently to dilute the power by with the power before me. I felt cactus spines prickling all over my body, drawing blood, weakening me. Be kind, you vision of God. All of my senses merged and throbbed into a knotted ball of ecstasy. Why had this godling appeared before me? Soledad. La soledad me lleva sobre alas a la, a la imaginación cósmica. Dentro su barco de pensamientos me encuentro tirada entre el mar muerto y los brazos de nuestra madre natura. Revuelvo con nada sino la memoria de ti, pero ¿quién eres? En el bosque de noche vi su sombra contra troncos en conquista de jaguares. Sombra, sombra, mujer peligrosa y linda. ¿Qué socorres? Lagartija verde, luna amarilla, lagartija amarilla, estrellas azules, lagartija azul. Sol fuerte rojo, lagartija roja, lagartija verde en mi jardín. Solitude takes me on wings to the cosmic imagination. Within her ship of thoughts, I find myself thrown between the Dead Sea and the arms of our Mother Nature. I return with nothing but the memory of you. But who are you? In night's forest, I saw her shadow against trunks in pursuit of jaguars. Shadow, shadow, woman dangerous and beautiful. Shadow of woman, what do you rescue? Green lizard. Yellow moon, yellow lizard, blue stars, blue lizard, mighty red sun, red lizard, green lizard in my garden. Oh. Oh,
Facebook, friends of Maria's on Facebook. That's how they make. You also have uh, a series I, coming I, up. I, uh, I host a panic, uh, the panic reading series at Nowhere, which is uh, it's an LGBT series. Um, our most popular uh, installment of that is Hispanic Panic. I assemble mm -hmm. queer uh, Latino writers, um, and that's a really. Then we play fun music and dance and all that. Um, and I rotate themes around the years, so I've, I've uh, featured everything from transgender to black queer writers, just exploring different facets of the community. And the next event is? Uh, August 26th is an erotica reading, and then at the end of September is Hispanic Panic 3.